<laughs> Hello, welcome. Hello. <laughs> welcome to Facebook Friday with uh, Taya and Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> Um, we sometimes don't know when to start because yeah. things start happening the minute I click on go live. Yes. And then we're going, is this live? Yeah. Are we live? <laughs> are we here? <laughs> so we hope we are mm -hmm. and we're going to find out any second now as we soon are. as somebody says hello. Yes, exactly. So and hopefully someone will say hello. <laughs> I'm just, uh, let's see if we can get anything yep. happening Petra's there. Petra's there. Oh Petra's good, first. yay. <laughs> So I don't Thanks have for to worry. Us. Thanks, <laughs> Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, that's so nice of you, Pet, it because is. you know we are always had waiting, and it actually yeah. takes what about thirty seconds? Yeah, about that before yeah. we know that there's somebody there. So <laughs> that's okay though, because you always mention it. Thank Absolutely. You. So Jennifer's here. Wanda's here. Yep. Good. Wanda. Hi, Wanda. It looks like we have to keep scrolling uh, to see hi, everybody. Viv. And Viv's there, and Heather Hopkins, Heather, Linda. We're not ladies from Connecticut. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Aww. Foggy again. Foggy again, again in Berkeley. Donna, I'm so sorry. You keep getting foggy. I'm reading a book right now that's written by somebody less Croat or something, and it's about a legal thing, a uh, legal story. And it's set in San Francisco itself. Oh. And he continues to talk about how foggy it is. How foggy it is, <laughs> absolutely. I know you're not there, but very yeah. close, right? Yeah, uh, yes. And I'm sure they get fog for most of the day, probably. I know when my sister lived up um, north in um, Port McNeil, mm -hmm. and she lived close to the ocean, she had fog probably, well, from the time she got up until about 2, two 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Every day. Every day, and then it would clear up for a couple hours and get foggy again. So that's just... That's the way it is. Yeah. Although we live near the ocean, we don't have the same we ocean We don't have that breeze. same thing, no. no. We're not quite on the west coast. We're yes. on the inner, inner yeah. passage. Anyway, it looks like Roxy is here. Welcome. And Kathy Bird from sunny and hot Virginia. Sounds good. Loretta is here. Yay. Kathleen, hello. From Maryland. Oh, hot. It must be hot back east. Howdy on a, yeah. looks like a cloudy. So howdy yeah. on a cloudy howdy day. <laughs> Aw, Tammy, thank you for that little poem. <laughs> Good morning, Sandy. So glad to, to have you here again. Wanda wants to say hi, Lisa Archer. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> How fun, Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> We're not awake yet, actually. No, we are. No, I'm still kind of stumbling. And... Trisha says hello to us both. Yep. Cynthia, Good morning, Trisha. Susie Tuttle. Hello from Roll yep. Texas. Great. We're Mary, everyone. Patty England Dag. Sue, you're here. Good. Oh, I meant to call you. Oh, no. I feel bad. Life is just too busy, yeah. Sue. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Donna says, summer in the Bay Area is foggy. Yeah. Yes. Jackie says, Good evening from Salisbury in the UK. Yep. Hello, Jackie. And good evening. Karen Crow says, lovely to see you. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Plus 30 in Denver. Ooh, Ooh that's really good. Really is warm. right. <laughs> Brenda says, uh, good morning. Hello yep. from Ontario. And Jeanette, Jean Morrison is here from Atlanta. I know, yeah. I know. I'm, thank you. I know, I know. I'm, I'm really glad you said yeah. that. Mary Hawthorne. I just want you all to know that um, yesterday I wasn't feeling that well. No, you were not looking well either. <laughs> <laughs> I know you and and Richard both said mm, you look like <laughs> I said you look pale. I didn't have any other comment. No, he did anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, and by the by, about the middle of the afternoon, I think it was about three o'clock. I literally couldn't go any you farther. You looked worse at three o'clock. That's yeah, yeah. And I had gone for a long walk and everything that morning, so I thought I was going to be okay. Um, but I had a um, second shingle shot in my left arm, which is so tender right now. Oh. And uh, that shingle shot is supposed to save me from, uh, you know, eventually getting shingles again, yes. which I've had once. Once? Once. I think it was only yeah. once. And it was such a horrible time, and it lasted so long. So this is worth it to do that. But I had no idea because I had my first one, and I didn't feel a thing. And now I have my second one. And I am wiped out, so if I'm not quite as bubbly as I <laughs> usually so am. So it's a two-part uh, 
inoculation is it exactly it's once i had it six months ago oh, okay and then six months later they got to give you a, a the final yeah, booster it's a two-part thing so i thought oh i'll just get it done no problem because the first one was just fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i, slept I mean for it's not that hours. you couldn't get away with not having the second one because then that would defeat the purpose What's of having the, the first one yeah my pharmacist guy yeah. called, you know texted me it's time for you to come in so it's all Oh, good you know i'm already in sydney yeah, I'll, just go, I'll see just go and have it done and uh anyways i well, said yesterday i slept for 13 hours and i am so grateful that i got that sleep be that i made myself go to bed because it just i yes. kept fighting it thinking yeah. this is nothing this yeah. is just a reaction i'm okay <laughs> but it really wasn't <laughs> so anyway made it through had a yeah. really good night and yeah. uh, hopefully I by tomorrow i should be uh back to normal back to normal yeah it's usually about they say two to three days. Right. I just never expected to get anything. To get hit like that, yeah. yeah. And I thought it was something else, yeah. as you can imagine. <laughs> Especially right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although we have no case, new cases on the island, so. No, for the last uh, 30 days, I think. Yeah. But yeah. the thing is that, you know, your, your mind goes that Ab way. Absolutely. Especially so. nowadays, yes. Uh, Dobre vecher from Hi, Prague. Dory. Hello, Dory. Adrian Milt. Oh, ah, dear. And this is going to be very difficult for us to say. Yes. Content de vous voir avec le mur plein de création. So I am going to say, glad to see you with a wall full of creations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I just tried my little French best. Uh, Deb Sarbalant says, hello. Hi, Deb. Hi. Yeah. Kathleen, the second one is worse. Oh, see, my yeah. friend Norma told me that, like, by email somewhere around three o'clock yesterday she'd had it done and she said the second one is worse and i i felt immediately better about the po the possibility of it being something else yes oh and, and so karen, karen says, says the same too, thing if yes. i'd known that yeah i've been pre-warned <laughs> the pharmacist should have said this is going to make you feel worse than the first one i would have just uh -huh. gone to bed yeah, that's right <laughs> first that, thing yeah. in the morning and not done anything on uh, yesterday at all exactly instead i did a whole bunch of stuff went for a long longer walk than usual yeah, than usual that might not have helped <laughs> the situation <laughs> i didn't know what was happening with my head anyway so we all have these moments where we feel you know like not able to to uh, accomplish what we want to accomplish but mm -hmm. when your body betrays you like yeah, that that's right I know that there are many people who come and talk to us here who have issues with yes. their um, health. And I really, it just reminds me, it's so easy to take it all for granted. So uh, my heart goes out to anybody who is experiencing headaches, um, arthritis, you know, pain in your hips, um, challenges with anything that you have. Um, it's not fun. And only the People who have had something that makes them realize, oh yeah, that can happen to me too, uh, can <laughs> are usually the ones that say, oh, you know, I empathize. I can understand how you might be feeling. And I do forget when I'm feeling healthy how yes. that feels. So <laughs> just wanted to say that. You don't feel unhealthy very often. Not very often, but yesterday my eye was really starting to bother me and it's still a little sore Itchy. today. Well, itchy, but it felt like I was starting to get like a sty okay. there, but I don't see any red. It's my left eye, and I don't see any red happening there. No, so no. I but think it's just itchy, and I scratched it. And Well, lately, I've had a lot of itchiness, especially in the center of my eyes, eyes yeah. uh, to do with uh, it's a high pollen count right mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. and I have this eye drop stuff that it isn't called similcamine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Simil Sana. Oh, okay. Simil Sana or something. <laughs> anyway, it's a homeopathic uh, remedy for eyes. And I had to put it in again this morning because otherwise I'd be rubbing my eyes. Rubbing all the your time. eyes, yes. So you could yep. have a little touch of that. It didn't start for me until literally about four years ago. Mm -hmm. I started having um, reactions to pollen. To pollen, yeah. I don't know. I used to think that that would happen in early childhood and then no. you'd get over it, but nope, apparently nope. it develops later. Yeah, it does. Your allergies can really uh, rear when as you get older. Yeah, well, so, there you go. Yeah. So maybe that's uh, something that is happening. And it uh, looks like... Da, 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 da. And Kathy James is here. Hello. Uh, Sarah Campbell says, totally feel you on that. Thank you. <laughs> 
Karen says, it's important to listen to what your body is telling you, usually in the most painful way. Yes. Well, that's what you pay attention to. That's right. I mean, if your body's feeling super healthy, what are you going to do? Feel, you know, oh, I've got to do something about yeah. this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right, Karen. Dev says, I wish you all well. Can't stay at the hospital for a follow-up CT scan. Oh, there we oh. go. Another um, health thing. Health thing. Yeah. I will <laughs> wish you luck for sure. <laughs> Carol Reed is from rainy Florida. And Patty says, hello, lovely ladies. Hi, Patty. Good to see you. <laughs> Hope you're well. Did you actually get to move to back to the States? Oh, that's right. Yeah, she was moving. That's happening. Last last year, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. Well, so. what were you doing this last week besides working and working? Oh, you know, the week flies by. I can't even believe it's Friday already. But, um, you know... What was your main thing that you remember focusing on last week? Um, last week, my main thing was or focusing this, on, you last know, week. Yeah. I'd like to talk last week. And oh, the yeah. week before. <laughs> <laughs> Although it wasn't that great of a week, but I did manage to finish three uh, blocks. Oh, that's right. Of, for our new design. So yes, that we did. Yes. So yeah. that I did. This week, I wrote the instructions. Well, what was so. really fun the previous week? We didn't go into that last week. No, we last didn't. Week. No, um, because we were both tired last Friday. And, <laughs> well, the yeah. thing is that what we did was we spent some time together finishing yes. off these little, Absolutely. little blocks. You know, there's going to be cottages, right? We've yeah, done that's, one already. That's right. And we're going to have a couple more cottages. Mm -hmm. And, of course, with all the changes and the COVID and everything, but also the changes that we've gone through here in the office with a brand new website, yeah. that, you know, new computers and all new computers <laughs> and new programs, etc. We actually have been unable to do very much with designing, which is what it's all about That's here. Right. That's right. We're, I mean, we're for forgetting our core sometimes. Exactly, because so. really what we do here in the Victoria Sanford, we're not like um, a regular store. No. We are not. Even no. though we sell our products, our, it's yes. like more like a factory outlet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you want to put yes. it that way. Because we actually create everything. Yeah. And we then do. we also sell to shops and we sell yeah. to um, you wonderful Individuals. stitchers yes. as well. And so because of that, uh, that part has really taken over our yeah. lives for the last little while. It's the marketing and the, and the importance for good pictures Getting and good descriptions. Ready, and <laughs> you know, there's lots of things to do with the website still. Yes, yeah. and it's not that we're putting no. things up. Um, uh, Petra, my daughter, is the webmaster now. And well, she she's, is. She's yes. doing an awesome, awesome job. Uh, but there's still so much back and forth of information yeah. and pictures and stuff. And so that's what we've been more or less focused on yes. since it started. Yes. Um, mid March. Mid March is when we <laughs> oh. opened opened the new website. That's right. Never mind all the prepper work. So, actually, I remember thinking to myself, I have to put designing on the back burner. Yes. And that's yeah. just my part. You had to put um, uh, the layout yeah. and the directions yes. and the diagrams on the back on burner. On the back burner. To some degree. You know, we've, we've given you a couple of wonderful new designs, but really it's nowhere near yeah. what we used to, used to do. give you. Yes. Um, so many times we'd come out with at least one design, a big design sometimes. Absolutely. Per month. Per, yeah. And yeah. that takes time to make one of those designs and yes. everything that goes it with does. it. So lately we haven't really focused on that no but no the week before like last week we did focus on we did and it was so yep. fun it was and we had so we did <laughs> so we did it was fun. so nice to not think of oh yeah i need to do this <laughs> and i need to do that i need it's to email like, that person yeah that's right <laughs> it's like i need to actually sit here and enjoy myself that's yeah. right and yeah. that enjoy ourselves is what this whole company was based Absolutely. on is enjoying creating yes so what I, I really love is to see all the creativity that you guys put into yeah. the um, the new Stitch Along. I, it's all starting Absolutely. to come together. I noticed a bunch of you have finished yours. Yes. Yeah, there's some fantastic um, renditions. There is, actually. Yes. And I'm, I'm actually surprised because there's only about, I think only about tw 10 that are that I have mm -hmm. noticed mm -hmm. yes. that yeah. I've got a picture of, okay? So it could be that they're being posted and I don't even see them. Yeah. Have you noticed that there were many? Because so far no, I think there's still no, some. No, no, there's only uh, a few. A few, yeah. A handful it, or it, so. Exactly, yeah. So if you're sitting on the fence, <laughs> yeah, remember, you know, to finish your design. I mean, it's wonderful. I see a lot of people started. 
In fact, I have pictures of some of the starts. And uh, then I, I'm not quite seeing yeah. the same <laughs> Any, degree of finishing. Well, I think, you know, things are, um, we're not locked in as much as we used to be. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. people so there's are, lots more activity. Lots more activity. So. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, then. So they're not staying home as long and they're not sticking That's right. It's <laughs> also, you know, garden time, too. So true, people, true. lots of people are planting gardens. and. But what I have time. noticed, and this is something that, just occurring to me when I'm designing and I'm not sure whether that happens when you're stitching a design but when I'm designing towards the end of the design say I've done I don't know eight tenths of it mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. last two tenths takes so much more strength to finish and I yep. don't know whether it's because <laughs> I'm absolutely I don't want to finish yeah. or because I don't know whether I like this anymore, yeah, which yeah. I think is... <laughs> a lot of it. It really yeah. is. You know, when yeah. I come in, I go, yeah. are you sure this yeah. is okay? And That's right. And it's not until, yeah, you put it in the drawer and you walk away and look at it, you know, a, a couple of weeks later, you go, oh, okay. It's, it's not that it's bad. It's not that bad. But yeah. it takes longer at the end, near the end. Like at the beginning, you're all gung-ho and you've got your drive and you're inspired and you know what it's going to look like and you change the colors like you guys are doing and you're going to make it look great. And by about three quarters of the way through, I have a feeling that this happens. You start second guessing yourself. Exactly. Yes. You start thinking yeah. it's not as good as what I had in mind when I first started. Yeah. This ideal thing that was in my head has turned out to be a little less than that. Yes. But it's yeah. it's your mind tricking you. Yes, that's right. And it Absolutely. really is. And I remember pushing through that. It's like a barrier. Mm -hmm. um, pushing through that last bit and just finishing it. Yeah. <laughs> I yes. almost didn't have much joy in it. I yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> right? You've seen this. Same well, thing happen. Well, right now I'm almost at the end of Babe's Honey Farm. And, you know, it's like I need to get it done. But mm -hmm. I would like to start something over here instead. So. That's the other thing because that beginning. That's right. Gives you that, yeah. that optimistic <laughs> Absolutely. potential. Yeah. And here you're almost finished. Yeah. So it's just That's, like. It, I've anyway. been looking at this for too long. It's time to look at something else now. So Yeah, I think that happens. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, just so you know, you're not the only ones that yeah. feel these things. Uh, boy, it happens with stitching also, says yeah. Sally. <laughs> exactly. And that's what Lisa just yeah, says absolutely. too. And Carol says, that's why I have so many yeah. UFOs. <laughs> that's right. And you kind of think to yourself, you're the only one that's doing this. No, thing. no. It's, I think it's all of us. <laughs> and because it's so ubiquitous and we think that we're the only ones, but everyone is feeling that, we have to encourage one yeah. another. You can understand when you've just done the first little bit and then you put it in the drawer. But if you've put it in the drawer, you've put so much effort into it, and then you put it in the drawer at the very last That's right, minute. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> get them out. <laughs> Finish the darn thing. <laughs> exactly. So I just want to encourage you, and maybe by next week or throughout the week, you can put one single uh, thing that you've almost finished. Not something that takes a lot more effort, but just one that's like almost ready or almost getting framed or almost getting done. Well, I should have brought in my uh, Mermaid Song needle shell. Because the lining is now on it, mm -hmm. and it's all, you know, ribbons on it. I just have to do the last little bit of back stitching and put the wool felt in, no. and then it's done. But it's been, it's the very thing I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And on Sunday, I, th I thought, oh, yay, because I'd done the, the lining part, and I went, oh, just do it. I started the back stitching, and then, oh, my husband said, are you going to come outside? And I went, <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll come outside, and, mm -hmm. and, and then, then you left it. And then during the work week, I keep on thinking, "Oh yeah, after I have dinner, I'll go and do that." Well, I sit in my chair, and then next thing I know, I'm not enough. So you know, <laughs> but you know that you could find a way to get That's that right. one done. It's Absolutely. just it's the easy thing to do, and it is very very common. Yeah, That's so, right. I'm really glad you guys understand. Yeah, I think we had a question from Patty, Sally. Oh, way back here. Oh, I'm going to do mine soon. Yeah. I'm trying to get a birth sampler finished oh. for first baby before second baby is born. <laughs> <laughs> not, quite a, not quite a question, but if there is a question that we'd missed, Patty, could you say it again? Well, no, not that Patty. It was oh. Patty, Sally. Oh, oh, oh. And oh. she was asking when we were going to have our next retreat. Will we ever be able to have a retreat again? And, and yes, we will. We're hoping to have it um, next April. Mm -hmm. 
And we already actually had decided not to do it this year. Yes. Which we're grateful for Absolutely. now because Definitely. everybody would have already paid up and, you know, yeah. but anyway. That's right. So it turns out that so far we're uh, still discussing yeah. with the hotel. Yes. Um, and they still haven't gotten back to us apparently. No, nope, I don't have uh, um, the contract yet, but I did email her this week. So things are moving forward. So as soon as we firm that up, then we'll uh, post it. That's right. And when we post it, just so you know, we will have a deposit. It will be refundable. Yes. Uh, just to hold your place. Um, and, you know, closer we get to the end of this year, the more That's, we'll know what, what travel, et cetera, exactly. is possible. It, it, it's all depending on whether airlines start flying again. So exactly yeah and anyway depending on a lot of things so it's mm -hmm. very difficult to plan a year in advance it is uh, at this time so patty sally we are thinking very hard yes. about next year to the point where we're trying to make arrangements um tammy says she still needs to start the current sal <laughs> you know you can start the la you can finish the last stitch along <laughs> You don't have to do the first, the, the one that's current, but I'm really glad you have the chart saved and printed. That's good. Good morning, says Sally Savaglio. You're here. Yeah. And that's wonderful. And sunny squim. Well, lucky you because it's not sunny here in Sydney. So. No, send no. some of that sun up north. <laughs> yeah. Aw, Tammy says, I'm so behind stitching via stuff. It's understandable, and I'm so glad that you're not the only one that feels like you've done, you've got too many yeah. wonderful things still ahead of you from Victoria Sanford. We're the same. Yes, we, we are. have lots. Mm -hmm. Hi girl, says Lori Patterson. Tammy says, I have a little more free time. Well, this is good. Yep. Yeah, remote learning from school must be really challenging for parents. Patty says, I'm going to do mine soon. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, I know that your baby Sanford yep. is way more important. So keep that up. I know you can finish it. It'll be wonderful. Um, and Sarah Campbell says, yes, I've been working on the same sampler for my parents for the last three years. <laughs> and I'm down to just the last two squares and they're taking so long. Well, um, we really understand, obviously. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, it's great that you've decided that you're maybe going to finish by August. And if you say to yourself, I am going to finish by August, you'll do it. We yeah. believe in you. Karen says, designing must be like all of our unfinished products projects why do you think we all have so many works in progress <laughs> well you know that's funny because my brain is full to bursting with ideas absolutely and it's just putting them down on fabric and the thing about ideas is there are so many of them that's right <laughs> but you can't do them all yes right and if yeah. you start an awful lot of the things that you want to start that's great just keep in mind that you want to at least finish half of them yeah <laughs> So try not to start so many. <laughs> Patty says she still has a work in progress from 1989. I do too. I do indeed. Actually, I think I do too. I think I have more than one. <laughs> yes, because starting is one of the best feelings in the world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All new color. Anyway, I love yeah. that part. Norma says procrastination in my stitching is my biggest vice, yeah. especially now that summer is finally here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you were That's right. definitely right. People spending more time mm -hmm. outdoors, which is so healthy for our brains. All my yeah. VS finishes have been gifts. <laughs> Patty, that would be so nice if you kept one of them. Yeah, that's that right. Really exactly. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tammy says she's still stitching on the bling tree. Only the last one or oh. two greens. Oh. Okay, that's yeah. that's definitely a contender right there, Tammy. I know you can do this. I know you can. And Carol says, I have finished 15 wow. unfinished objects. Wow, that's great. That is yeah, amazing. Absolutely. Congratulations. Actually, when we have oodles of time, I guess that's more possible than two. Uh, yes, it? yeah. When you're not having to go to work and... Um, Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. Or if you're not going to work, or if you just decide that I'm just not going anywhere, I can't go to restaurants. So that's right. Okay, what else yep. do I do at home? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's uh, I do instead of going, you know, shopping. Mm -hmm. I'm staying home, and you mm -hmm. know, there's only so much cleaning that, that can be done. Ex ex <laughs> well, yeah, I definitely do need to do more cleaning. But anyway, <laughs> and I haven't been able to get over to my sister's place to visit her. So, 
you know, her apartment was, of course, locked down and wasn't allowing any visitors to come into the building. So, but she's managed to come and visit she's you. She's come and visit me. Yes, Which and is we good. sit outside in the yard, uh -huh, and uh -huh. so that's kind of nice. Exactly. Um, Mary says it's more fun to stitch the project than to do the finishing. Yeah. <laughs> do you beg to differ? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it depends. It, I have a finishing mode and I have stitching mode. So oh, they're two different modes. They're two different modes. Oh, so, I didn't think know, about that. Yeah, they're two different yeah, things. Yeah, so, so when you're like stitching, it's quiet, it's introverted. Mm -hmm. When you're finishing, what kind of thing happens? It, you have to it, move around it, a lot more. It definitely involves a lot more thought, for me anyways, a lot more thought and so you're starting from scratch kind it, of thing. Well, it, it, exactly. So it's a different type of thought process. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. you have to make a lot of decisions. In fact, finishing is a lot like designing. Because mm -hmm. you decide how you're going to finish it. That's right. You decide what materials you're going to use, what fabrics you're going to That's yes. an awful lot like designing, yes. really. Yes. So if yeah. you guys are, you know, not finishing, maybe it's it's a question of getting a little more confident with your own decisions mm -hmm. and learning some of the finishing. We've got some finishing videos on um, our YouTube channel. We do. And I find, of course, you know, straight edges are a lot easier to finish than something with a curve. <laughs> like a heart shape or a, a round? Uh, like Mermaid Song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Karen says, I'm working on scary stitches from the retreat last fall. It'll be finished stitching by this October. Excellent Yay. work. Way to go. <laughs> oh, Sally says in the Coho Ferry is running. Is oh, it now? Oh, I, that's I wasn't really cool. I aware of that, yeah. And Kathleen Yance is also finishing Scary Stitches. It's coming out fairly soon. I didn't think they were allowing the Coho Ferry yet, but anyway. So we'll find yeah, out about, oh, yeah. when the Coho Ferry yeah. is running. Oh, yes, yeah. then we'll see it, for sure. Exactly, yeah. Because the Coho Ferry is from the States to it is um, Canada. To Victoria. I, not, yeah, I don't think it's running yet. quite yet. Are your beautiful creations sold in Alberta? Kathy James, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah there's a couple of shops in Alberta that carry our designs. Yeah, do one, you remember the One names? in Calgary, and they're called Traditional Stitches. And then the other one, I believe, is close to Edmonton. Um, it could even be Edmonton. They're called Craft Connections. There you go. Yeah. See, I don't know those yeah. things because <laughs> I know nothing about the sales end of things. Patty says, okay, good news. I'll keep my eyes yeah. open. Yay. <laughs> miss you too. I miss you too. <laughs> Dory says, I'm almost done with the Victorian purse. Well Yay. done, Dory. That sounds like your project um, that I was talking about. Fin finishing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't mean finishing like on the sewing machine or whatever, yeah. but I meant finishing the stitching part. Well done. Do you have a birth sampler? I wonder who, who has a birth sampler. I have a birth sampler. You do. It's called heirloom birth sampler. <laughs> <laughs> look it up on our website, uh -huh. Patty. <laughs> Just look up heirloom birth sampler. And I think there's other ones that can be used that as a can birth be used. sampler. Yeah. A like Child no, of Spring. Child of Spring, Noah's Garden is another one. Yep, there's different yeah. various samplers that would be really good if you change some of the wordings. Or you separated some of the bands so you make a little bit longer mm -hmm. linen. And then where you want to put um, uh, the words for uh, uh, a new child coming in, mm -hmm. then absolutely you can do that. But Heirloom Birth has been a pretty... Popular design for many years. Yeah, it's very, very sweet yeah. and not too... Um, like it's kind of almost very uh, like the beginning when I first started designing. Exactly, it's it's quite lacy, lacy. and that's it. Intricate and yeah, yeah. So it, you can do it in blue or pink. That's right. That's my. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but it's it is a bit more frilly than yes. maybe. Uh, it's got some hardinger in it and some hem stitching and some silk ribbon and. And I love yeah. that because yeah. the if you if you're the parent and you want to have that birth sampler to give to your child when they are old enough, then that child can then enjoy it as an adult rather than doing something that has a lot of, I don't know, elephants yeah, and monkeys on right. it. Yeah, that's right, yes. <laughs> I like the classic look. Tammy says, my last stitch along is stitched. I just need to finally go to Joanne's and buy new fabric. Ah. All right. <laughs> uh, how do you store your ideas? Well, on a really good point. I try, usually I try to put them in my head. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't but work. But you also have a book, too. I have yeah. a book. I have a box, believe it or not, mm -hmm. that's like this full of scraps of paper and ideas and sketches. I have 
two folders on my desktop um, that say the word designing in them and then I store my ideas in there. I take random pictures that remind me of what I once wanted to do, but mostly it's scraps of paper and Absolutely. sketches. Yeah. And of course, the the ideas change over time as well. Yeah, so, you're not going to have yeah. the same idea what, one right. year to the next. Mm -hmm. However, the subject matter, because that's where I usually start with, mm -hmm. is some kind of theme or um, like if it's summer, it's not just summer. It's also a meaningful part of summer, you know, whether it's flowers that I once really enjoyed yeah. or so it's not like just random uh, or anything goes. Usually it goes a little deeper than that. And this year's summer would be different than last year's summer, yes. for sure. Kathy says, heirloom birth sampler. Yay, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patty said, are you supposed to clean? No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> Aw, Brenda's telling her about the heirloom birth sampler. Thank you, Brenda. And finishing is two different yeah. modes for me, too. Yeah, absolutely. Patty says, I have a small section of hard hanger for my daughter's wedding sampler. I could finish it tonight. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> you can, Patty. <laughs> Absolutely. I just think it's so nice when people realize that they're not the only ones. And really, that actual finishing isn't all that hard. It's just mm -hmm. that we kind of ignore it. It's kind of like going into denial. Yeah. <laughs> you know that one where some uncomfortable thing is sitting there, but... You're really good at pushing it to the back of the drawer. Oh, definitely. I mean, that's why Mermaid Song has been on my sewing table for well over a year. It's yes, like, but you could have put it in a drawer and it would have been even out of sight, out of mind. Well, it was in a drawer. And I thought <laughs> if I didn't put it on my table, it was probably going to be in that drawer for a very long time. <laughs> and so I, I thought last year, I have to finish this. And I was determined to do so. See, that's, it's that's just, what it takes. you know, procrastination going, yeah, but those curves. And so I, I did it in bits and pieces. And a really good know. method to me when you get those kinds of problems is hit and run. Like, think it through, do one part of it. Absolutely. And then run away really fast. Run away real fast. It's really anxiety yeah. producing. And uh, then absolutely. Go and eat a lot. That's yeah. my answer. Um, do something else <laughs> for several it. months. Yeah. <laughs> and then come back to it. Oh, yeah, I'll do this now. So. Uh, I find hit and run really <laughs> useful. It, it is. And, you know, if you spend 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there, eventually, yes, it'll get done. It's just not a quick process. That's, That's right. And yeah. I think that if you're in any doubt or you feel like you're not sure mm -hmm. about what you're doing, That's right. hit and run is even better. Absolutely. Especially if you're doing something for the first time. Yeah. Um, but, but this was not something I've done for the first time. But No, but especially then. Yes. You know, when you're not comfortable with whatever it is you're going to be doing, when you're feeling a little unsure as how to do it better or... Absolutely. I did it differently than the way I finished yours. Mm -hmm. So that could be probably part Pro of the reason. Probably. And I was hoping all the templates I had made to do yours would work on mine, but not so much. I had to make new tempeh. Oh, because so, this, the changes the, of the size. The fabric's never the same. So, you know, you might think, yeah, I've got templates, but no, you have to start again. Yeah. And sometimes the templates are the hardest part. They are the yeah. hardest part because the templates have to be even on all sides, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's where the whole finishing starts. That's right. Whatever you're finishing. Tammy says, my problem with finishing is cleaning a space on the dining table where my sewing machine sits and oh, find my yeah. tools. <laughs> yes, isn't that true? If you don't have a dedicated space, absolutely, it's really hard. Like you yes. have your sewing room. I've got my, my sewing room. so that's Which from, is tiny. Yeah, I've yeah. been there. It's oh, tiny. Oh, yeah, it's really tiny. It's not like there's a huge amount of room, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. but you've made it function. Yes. You know, it's like a little, I don't know what, it, what size it would be. I think it's what, eight by nine maybe? There you go. Seven by nine. It's definitely the not, walls are, not a big room. All the walls are literally lined with, with boxes and drawers. Rubber made and, containers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> on on two of the walls. And my sewing table sits in the middle. And then I have probably about three feet on either side of that. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, you know, we understand if you're on your dining room table, it is really difficult. Absolutely. To push all of that aside and decide yeah. to yourself, okay, I can do it this way. I can do it this way because as soon as you set up, you have to either make a meal or something else comes up mm -hmm, and then you mm -hmm. have to put that away. So yes. you do have to set a, a, a certain amount of time if you're 
working on your dining room table. And actually, Tammy says, also the right mindset. Yes. And then left alone from the kids. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, absolutely. You get all sorts of things Yeah, added. definitely. Like, right now, we're in the middle of our stream, and we had a telephone ring. Yeah. And, of course, my mind's going, I got to think that, but uh, the who, telephone. Who was that? that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling me? <laughs> Thinking that it might be an emergency or something. And that can also throw you off. Mary says, would you share with us how you add fabric behind the hard hanger to accent it when finished? Well, how I do um, fabric is, I, first of all, I usually photocopy the hard hanger area. And then I cut that template out. 100% photocopy. Uh, yeah. Not 120. That's right. The it's exact, the same exact size. size. And then you cut that out so you have the shape of the hard hanger. And then you cut your piece of fabric. You put that template on there. Oh, the contrasting fabric. The contrasting fabric. And you cut that template, um, use that template to cut the fabric to the correct size. You put it on there, and then I use iron-on interfacing on the back of it and iron it in place. It is a very simple yeah. method, and it does require you to do that photocopy because yes. if you don't get that shape, well... You can kind of draw around you, it. You I don't can, know exactly. Yes, there are exactly. maybe other ways, but that would be the most easiest yes, way, the fastest yeah. way. Because you want, um, you don't want that contrasting fabric to show um, around the outside around of the, the outside of the hard anger area. <laughs> Yeah, I know, you're getting yeah. the words in. <laughs> <laughs> because the outside of the Hardanger area is affected if you put a whole big Absolutely. piece of, of colored linen behind the open areas and you also put it behind some of the surrounding linen, it colors the linen. The little yes. holes in the linen become yeah. kind that, of like you can see through exactly. that. Especially with a dark fabric. Exactly. On a light um, linen. Exactly. Just... So unless you like that, um, the way the linen looks with it behind, like you can mm -hmm. cover the entire mm -hmm. back of it sometimes. Yes. Um, we have opted to uh, create sections Absolutely. that just cover the, the cluster blocks at the yes. back. Yes. And really, like if it's a heart shape, you really have to go along yeah. the cluster blocks. Um, or, or a zigzag. Or, and, and I do that with the hem stitching area too. I only cut a, enough fabric that'll be behind the hem stitching, not to yeah. extend past uh, cluster blocks or up and down. Up and down. Yeah. So that as soon as you've done it, you don't sew around the end of it. No. Usually yeah. it's like a woven fabric, like a cotton, right? Exactly. A, a cotton, um, I try to use as solid a color as I can. So I've used cotton. I've also used um, moray. Um, you can use silk. You know, if you have a solid color, you don't want anything with too much of a print to it because then it just looks muddy. Exactly. And the other thing is that you would imagine that you'd want it darkish, yes. um, not light because light won't show the contrast. Mm -hmm. But you also need to not get too dark. Mm -hmm. Trust me on this. Yes. We've done this with frame Because it too. does darken. Everything darkens. As soon as you put it behind, mm -hmm. the color behind darkens somewhat from the shade from the, Absolutely. From the stitching. So that's a pretty yeah. detailed description <laughs> of what we would do. And I think on our YouTube channel, there's probably some videos uh, in the finishing areas showing you how to cut some of the... There are. The, yeah. Look, the for, look for the word finishing, because I think we often put that mm -hmm. word in mm -hmm. anything that is to be finished. Finishing and then the word hardinger. That might help yeah. you search for things. Shelly says, we look awesome. Oh, thanks, Shelly. <laughs> We both feel a little tired, but so thank you. I actually feel better than I did last Friday. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, last Friday yeah. was a it was a tough week getting it was, back. It was t a tough versus week. So, Carol says after a short break, I'm back on the ring bearers pillow. Yay, Yay she's almost done. You're going to be another person who's finishing something. Donna, BS. I think is almost done hers too. Aren't you, Donna? I think so. I think I've seen yeah. that she's almost done. It looks like Patty Sally is gone for now. Goodbye, if you're still here, Patty. Uh, Dory says, um, no, replying to Mary. Oh, it's Dory oh, thanks, Davis. Sorry. Okay, it says, cut your fabric to fit within the Hardanger yeah. area. Yes, exactly. Hi again from hot and humid Houston. Houston. Hello, Virginia. Um, Tammy's waiting for her spring box. So that's the one you're going to be finishing this week, right? <laughs> I have that one pictures. to finish as well. So, you know. I, oh, I'm, is that the next one? I'm not too sure yet. Um, she's it, not going to even yeah, think about I'm it I'm not yet. even going to think gonna about it in. until Mermaid Song is completely done and then I can go through 
um, my finishing boxes and see what's next. So Kathy Jane says, thank you so much yeah. for the info. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and so does Mary. Yeah. So I'm glad that that helps you all. <laughs> uh, those kinds of tips and, and tricks and stuff, we were thinking not too long ago that we wanted to do more of these kinds of Absolutely. creative things. And I wonder, what do you think it would be like if we started finishing something in front of the camera? I think that's probably not a bad idea, as long as there's no cutting involved. <laughs> well, why not? We could show them how to do the cutting. We could, but it not might not be accurate. <laughs> so I could most certainly show you how to cut, but then I'd probably later on um, re-cut re it. it. Yeah, you need a certain stance. I, I need a certain stance and, you know, anyways. But I could most certainly show how to cut. As long as I don't slice my thumb again, which I've done. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Donna says Please. she just has the last hard anger on the oh. flange part. Oh, yay. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> well done. So you can finish that this week. Okay. Yeah. There's so many of you that have just a few things to be done on the Absolutely. on a Victoria Sanford design. So thank you. We would love to celebrate with yeah. you this coming week. <laughs> just doing the last little bit. Yeah. Oh, Sue says, don't cut, don't cut. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and Laura, yeah, she loves the idea. So, yeah, we could probably do, set up the camera and um, buy the table or something like that. Yeah, that's and, what I was thinking, mm -hmm, some kind mm -hmm. of, because we do sometimes, you know, well, actually, just recently we did some and we loved it. Yes. So yeah. we could set up the camera and maybe not live, but um, we will set up the camera, record it. Absolutely. Cut out where we swear. Yeah. Because <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> and then we could just show you come, kind of cutouts of our, you know, chatting together and Absolutely. having fun together, doing some creative work. I think that yeah. would be fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I think finishing in front of us would be wonderful. That would be awesome. Thanks so much. Yep. Okay. Good. Well, I think that's something that we can work on. We can. We really <laughs> actually want to do it. We do. All we need yeah, to do absolutely. is set up the camera. Yes. So we'll and, do that. And set up something to finish. <laughs> well, yeah, but there's also the finishing of the mermaid song well the mermaid that song can be done well true but that's all that's pretty much done now so, yes but yeah. i could be designing while you're finishing true you but know we could just sit and have a lot, a lot of yes. fun <laughs> someone would have to stitch it again though yeah. no 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 you're not getting it yeah. you're gonna bring in your mermaid song oh. you're gonna sit and finish it and I'm going to oh. sit and design, and we'll just talk together. And we'll just talk together? Okay. <laughs> this yeah. is not an instructional yeah. video. <laughs> no. no, no. No, it's, it's just a, a relaxing time. Correct. And it's also yeah. probably something that we can do when we're re relaxing. We can have a webcam, basically. <laughs> Pour a cup of tea. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. Tammy says, creative language is part of our needlework. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That it is. Thank you. Colorful metaphors. <laughs> Julie says, hello from San Francisco. Hello, Julie. Very nice to have you here. Uh, Sue says, we could all get a little hard anger to cut, put on our Depends and do it with you. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Actually, that would be fun. Maybe with our next um, stitch along, yeah. which I promised a little bit of a hard anger in, we could do some something like something that. Something like that, right? yes. We could yeah. um, all cut together at one point or another. Anyway, there's so many options. There are. Absolutely. It is now getting, like, we've had so much fun. <laughs> Can't tell you. Is that your phone or my phone? No, it's yours. My phone. Oh, it's very, very scary. Yeah. And it keeps ringing like that. They must be wanting they something. They really must want to talk to you. No, nope, I don't hear it anymore. No. Anyway, um, yeah. it, uh, Petra's going to uh, send out a little um, a little notice. mail out. Yeah, a little notice that today, and she wanted to. Um, uh, she has actually worked on the PDFs that are going to be in that mail out. So we do have some new PDFs oh, coming out this okay. weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is um, uh, the "I Love You" sampler, mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. one. Oh, and let's just turn this on. Turn the light on. I think that this will work. Let me just check. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. A little more light on the subject. So this is one of them. I think I've shown you this one before. Yes. Um, but what's interesting is this is beautifully finished, but doesn't have to be finished with this quilt fabric. If you want to frame it, it will look just as lovely. And look at, you can have the beads with, a, with the uh, hem stitching. And there's more beads with the next hem stitching. And look at those gorgeous pearls. They are all part of the accessory pack. 
and obviously it's I love you because that's in red. You see the I up at the top? The alphabet is hiding I love you. And I do really love the silk ribbon flowers, but if you can do the flowers with some double thread and use, um, what do you call that, um, lazy daisy stitches, those flowers will look lovely as well. But the silk ribbon is included in the act packs. Yeah, and I'm, but I just, do we still have an act pack? Do we not have an act pack I, on that, this one? I'm not too sure. We might, uh -oh. we might not. Uh-oh. So that here was... I am saying that. <laughs> yeah. You want to look? Would you know if looking at the no, number? No, no. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to go look at the... Well, if there's no number, but this one will be a PDF, yeah. and that's what's important. Another one is going to be... There's going to be a few of Kathy's, mm. which is mm -hmm. nice, and I found this in the back. This is one of the ones oh, Petra okay. uh, decided to go with, which is called Love Like You'll Never Be Hurt. Um, what's it called? Love Dancing? No. Dancing with Love. What's it called again? Um... Do you remember this one? I can't remember. Loving free. That, okay. Yes, because yep. the theme this week yep. is love. Oh, okay. And the yes, reason we all that's, need love. Exactly. And you know the reason yep. why love is the top of our list Absolutely. This, this weekend. It's been quite a week in some of parts of the world, in yep. particular in the U.S. And we, um, our hearts go out to a whole bunch of people exactly. down there. Exactly. Love, acceptance. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the next one is Love is Patient. This is one of our all-time favorite it wedding is. samplers. Absolutely. And actually, I was wondering, this could also be a birth sampler if you... It could be. If you Perhaps. wanted it to be. Perhaps. You might, instead yeah. of Love is Patient, you might put in something like, um, you know, this is a birth sampler uh, yeah. in, in that part. Mm -hmm. but, or leave that out altogether and just leave the date. And the, the name of the person and the date. This would be gorgeous. I think gorgeous. I should take this one home. No, no, no. This it, is mine. It has my name on it. It does indeed. Yeah. <laughs> this is really nice, actually. Now, I can't get close to you this way. I would love to move that whole camera and show it to you more closely. Here, let me see if I can. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> Doesn't not quite working. Work. No. But you can see from a distance, you yeah. can see that all the it's, pearls shine. It's very delicate. Yes. I love the colors of this one. Very delicate and very, um, it's slightly monotone. It's very uh, subtle, all the colors. And it goes with everyone's decor and has a gorgeous um, bit of hardinger at the mm -hmm. bottom. So this one will also be a PDF. And I don't know, I think there might be a couple of other ones, but these are the ones I oh, could find. Yeah. <laughs> and short notice. <laughs> oh, no, there's one more over there. Oh. And it's also uh, a love thing. Yes. And this one is called Loving Friends. Yes. And go. this one is another one that closer. every... Yeah, you can, you're can. you doing great. And this is another one that's... Re, actually, that's perfect. perfect. Look at that focus and everything. Exactly. You light up my life. And it really is a beautiful little design. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's in a music box. But exactly. it doesn't have to be. And I have shown that to you before. And it also has mm -hmm. this really cute little mattress pincushion. <laughs> and... A little scissor fob. Right, which takes finishing. Which takes finishing. <laughs> those ones aren't that hard to do because they're straight lines. Oh, that's a good point. Yep. Anyway, those are some of the designs. And I believe mm -hmm. there's um, one of our old little free patterns is going to be in there. So I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that mail-out will be sent out to you sometime this morning or early this afternoon, I'm sure. Um, is there anything else that we were going to chit-chat about? I don't know. Uh, I just want to check and see who else is here. Elise has just arrived. Hi, Anne. And made it better late yeah. than never. Exactly. <laughs> Sad yeah, for us was. is right. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know how you guys manage, but it, this is not fun. A lovely, love that. We also have another of Kathy's designs called Windows oh, of My, my Heart. heart. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Petra. That's the other one that's going to, and it's actually a very popular design. So hopefully you'll really enjoy that absolutely. PDF. Thank you, Tricia. And I love you, Sampler. Looks like there is an act pack. Yep. Yay! Thank you, Trisha. <laughs> You're so good at all these mm -hmm. packs, isn't yep. she? Anyway, I really appreciate you guys showing up for us this week. Usually there is a free pattern um, part there is, but uh, you, installment. You showed it la the last part last week. So. Exactly. I'll show it to you again yes. just to get your appetite wet. That's right. Please it's a remember, cute little sampler. This says stay home and stitch. And so if you're really looking for something to do when you're at home, 
because you don't know what else to do. Exactly. Please stay home and stitch. And this is small enough you could actually stitch when you're outside. <laughs> That's right. It is a port stitch. <laughs> And uh, what is it? Adrienne says, I'll try to write in English. Very okay, good. Thank you. I love idea and the way the presentation is finished. The first one. Thank, thank you very you. much. That's very nice of you. And thank you for speaking English. Yes. <laughs> we do appreciate it because we don't speak French well, very much. I do much. not speak French at all. So <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Stay yeah. very safe and well. That, as Sandy says, one of our moderators, thank you so much, Loretta, as well. Yep. And thank you for being here. You're welcome. It was a lot thank, easier thank than you I thought for it having would. Me. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Honestly, this morning I thought, can I have that energy? Can I have that energy? And you did. And I did. You did have that energy. So, so we're going to say goodbye now. Exactly. Until, until next time. Exactly. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Oh, that was the end. No, no it wasn't. <laughs>